Babaji De Oti Toju, a popular journalist, has said that Peter B has weakened his chances by changing his political party. In a recent interview on TVC News, Babaji De reached to Peter B's decision to leave the PDP to join the Labour Party. Addressing the developments, Babaji De said, Our politics is a peculiar strain of politics, and money has come to rule our politics. I pity Peter Obi wherever he goes. He will not achieve his aim as long as he is not willing to spend money the way other people are spending it. Are you sure this man said this like this? Of course. <laughs> he has even weakened his chances by joining the Labour Party. He should have remained in the dominant party and play politics the way it ought to be played instead of joining a party with little or no structures across the country. Yet, believing that you can achieve what, achieve your dreams with that small party, he does not work that way in this country. Hey, and these are the people that will come out and be talking as if uh, they have uh, integrity. So you are even encouraging all those uh, useless people, useless politicians who are spending money. They are spending dollars. You guys don't have head. You don't have sense because it has cut into. You know when you, they, you, you hear about all these uh, iPod, they say they insult. Insult what? How can somebody in his right senses be encouraging this kind of a thing? That's so big it. Whether you pay, which money are you talking about? The only money you can spend is for logistics. Not that some people will tell you that we are going to, as delegates, we are going to spend money and give them. So how many people will be able to, how many people? It's only one person that will come as victorious at the end of the day. Then that is why direct primary is better. All this consensus of a thing, at least you'll be able to, they will be able to gather them and give them money. And the highest bidder takes it all. You can imagine what this one, the, what this one is saying. If he does not win, so be it. So we should understand the, the rot that has dealt with this country. The rot that we are in in this country. We should continue with that because this is the kind of politics and we should be paying. And you expect that things should work out in this country. They will say, oh, forget it, not be Nigeria. No, Nigeria, that's Nigeria for you. Nigeria for you, tomorrow you will complain. So we should continue with this kind of a mindset. People coming out with their food chairs that they are paying bribe to delegates, and you are you are saying that is how it ought to be because your own master, who happens to be Tinubu, he has a deep pocket. Okay, now by the time now we are hearing that your own your own oga, who happens to be Tinubu, wants to leave the party. You don't know. You have not said anything about it. You should even advise him that he should not even leave the party. So does it mean that he has not been spending money? With all the money he's spending now, now now you guys now know that he's going nowhere. With all the effort he has put in the party, he's going nowhere. With all the billions, with all whatever, with the hypocrisy, sitting on the fence and not saying things the way they are. All of them, all of those things, we make him go nowhere. And he's still thinking of joining another party. You see? It's just unfortunate. I said it too. After his failure in 2020, the PTOB will become politically irrelevant. If Peter Obi becomes politically irrelevant after 2023, that does not change who he is. Rich man is a rich man. You should rather be worried that your life, your future, and that of your generation will once be mortgaged for another four or eight years by the so-called big parties with structures. If he becomes irrelevant, is it your own irrelevance? You are one of the problems this country is having. Whether he wins or not, don't force him to be like others. Relevance is key. Don't force him to be like others who are bribing. You know that they are all thieves because they did not work for the money. So they can dole out the money. They have looked for system, uh, systematic way of stealing and nobody is going to probe them. That is what they are doing. They will not tell you, oh, you can imagine anybody they say it's corrupt. And nobody has taken it to court. They know what they are doing. But if we have a system... A real system, it will correct all those rubbish they are doing. If he does not want to, you want to force him to start giving money like other people. Let him not win. So be it. But he has made his stand know that he doesn't want to do all those things. To be giving all those delegate money. Babajide or whatever your name is, I think you should pity yourself. Who is just a two in Tinubu's hand? Whether Peter will be achieve his aim or not, he doesn't change whom he is. He has taken a bold step that we change money policies in Nigeria. Even the ones that spent money, are they not crying out that uh, nobody voted for them, that they just collected their money? APC and PDP will not hold Nigerians hostage for life. Take your fake one-sided analysis to your boss, Tinumbu. 
That is why blind loyalty or green envelopes that media men collect has rendered the profession an irritant to the masses. Yes, so the masses. Some of your people are bereaved of knowledge and are bent on entrenching ills. In a dying economy, Nigeria, in its present state, does not need someone who will spend a hell of money to get to the position of Mr. President and end up slapping our already red economy in order to recover and pay back his cronies. Truly speaking, Nigerians should rather pity themselves to ensure they avoid taking anything from any man for votes in order to restore our already battered system. Oti told you as a journalist with a national voice, your contribution towards restoring your detailed your detailed society is to get the people sensitized and consented on the need to elect credible candidates without selling their votes instead of perpetrating evils. I rather pity you and your likes that waste your opportunities dwelling on frivolities. Can we even rest from the change of party we are not voting party parties have failed us in the past and on the present we will vote personality Baba Jide, you are one of the problem of this failed country you are telling us we continue with this money politics now what for you journalists politicians you don't even have integrity you lack people's trust i've always watched your journalist angers on cvc and picked one significant thing about you you are not a journalist but a corrupt nigerian politician Babajide has said the truth. Either you like it or not, let us keep looking. Are we going to continue like this? Useless people. Are we going to continue like this? He has said, he has said the truth. They will show, they why complaining? He is not desperate. Peter B is not desperate. If you didn't give him the chance, he goes back to his business. Your generation unborn will suffer for it. His move is 100% okay. To save this country called Nigeria from the hands of evil politicians. Do you have voters card? Do you to have voter cards that you're asking about somebody? They should come and display it and be parading it. So oh, I have your voter's card. Baba Jide, pity yourself. Hobi doesn't need your pity. That is the point. Time will say. Pity will be all the way, both north and south. Northerners, have we have you asked ourselves, all these politicians in the north, what have they done for us? They only use us for election. And at the end, they benefit with their immediate family. Northerners, wise up. Say no to use and dump. Politicians only remember not during election. And after that, we will be dumped to become poverty capital of Nigeria. Make we wise up. Oh, I'm from Bauchi State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Baba Jide has spoken my mind. He would have yet, he would have said in PDP, should PDP wins, he can be appointed to where he can contribute. He can imagine. So we are talking about his own personal interest so that they will give him appointment. Give him appointment. That is what you are concerned about. I told a lot of his followers, but they tend not to listen. But you guys are talking, oh, no. He said, if he has stayed back in PDP, if the party wins, they will give him appointment. So if they give him appointment, he will be able to contribute. Contribute to what? The vice president that you have there, he said he's not doing anything because according to the constitution, it is the president that has the sole responsibility of making decisions and turning it the way he likes. So what are you talking about? So it, uh, an ordinary appointment will be more than that of a, a vice president. That does not have a say constitutionally. So if he if he's given an appointment, how is he going to make efforts? If the president is corrupt, what is he going to do? He's not going to do much. You can't grow more than the person that is leading you. You see the mindset of people. And that is what they are always thinking about. Ah, and they will give you appointment. Once you give you appointment, the next the rest of people will be bound to the Philistines. And that's their own cup of tea. And that is how these politicians have have have, have, have taught a lot of people, whether directly or indirectly. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.